highlights channel of the Ranveer Show. This is TRS Clips. What demon do you think possessed Mohammad Shami on this World Cup? <laughs> <laughs> no, Shami was always good. I think uh, he was running in way faster this World Cup. He put in everything that he had. I think his running, you know, his running through the crease was tremendous. He, in many interviews post matches, he said that it's all about rhythm. I've come into rhythm. Yes. People don't. Understand. What What does that mean? Rhythm, rhythm meaning you know you don't. Everything falls into place without much effort. Like it is like like a pendulum. You do don't. You, do you think again it could be your muscles and your nervous system just getting in sync? And also, you know, kind of training, practice, and kind of mindset that you are in. You know, the clarity of thought. So he was running in brilliantly, running through the crease. He was running in way faster in this World Cup, and he was tremendous. Do you think it took a toll on his body to play at this level? Of course, Shami had a lot of issues. You know, we both almost have done a rehab for our knees together. I know what he has gone through. He has gone through a lot of hardship and being a fast bowler, and from coming back from that to have done what he has done in this World Cup is unbelievable. It is, you know, a true showcase of his character, his strength. Yeah, you know, all Indian fans are very aware of what happened in his personal life also, and I'm sure personal life plays a role in your performance on the field also, hundred and ten percent. But for him to bounce back from that, you know, going through that publicly, etc., and then becoming the Mohammad Shami we know from the 2023 World Cup, World Cup monster he's become now, you know. So, uh, I'm I'm not honestly too well uh, well aware of his personal life, to be very honest. But I'm sure he has gone through a lot of uh, you know a lot of turmoil during that time, and to bounce back, as I said. This shows how strong he is mentally, and how much he he wants to do it for his country. I think that's a great showcase of his skill. Definitely, he always had the skill. But as I said, the way he was running in in the World Cup, he just wanted to give it his all. Unfortunately, you know, we all would have loved to see our team lift the trophy, but you know, that's all. That's all a team can do. You can give it. Everything and uh, I think everyone have give it. I have given it everything this World Cup. Yeah. By what does that mean in terms of fast bowling, giving it your all? Is it like aggression again? Aggression is not uh, vocal. It is about how you run in. You know, giving that extra, extra bit of effort every single ball. Sometimes you might slack off, saying that okay, in six balls, I'll I'll give you know two or three balls of effort and. Let me just put it in an area. I don't think anybody was doing that. They were running in and giving their all in every single ball that they have bowled. Why do you think this Mohammad Siraj, Mohammad Shami, Jaspreet Bumrah trio performed the way they did? Like they gave it their all. My question is why? What was different about this bowling setup? No, they just very clear on what they were going to do, and they've improved their skills over a period of time. And skills meaning what they. What they would have done with the ball, like you know, if somebody is good at in swing, they have developed a ball which would do something else, like like Siraji bowls that in cutter sort of a ball, which is very very effective, and uh, you know Shami, you know, he swings it both ways. Bumrah with his all his skill, and they were very very clear on what they were going to do or supposed to do. I think that's great credit to Rohit Sharma as a captain who has you know given the given them the platform. And the freedom to do it, I think uh, that was a great combination that was happening there. Who do you think is next up in terms of Indian fast bowling? I think there, a... there are a lot of good fast bowlers now. Like you have Arshadeep Singh, you have uh, Prasid. Yeah, a lot of great fast bowling talent that is coming through. Is the best way to manage a fast bowling talent giving them rest and not making them play everything? No, it is very important to play cricket as well. No, oh, but you know that's that fine balance. Every individual should know as well as we have really great trainers and physios nowadays. So they all assess 
you know how much load they can take or whatever so i think uh, i think they know they know what they're doing to be very honest i'm sure uh, i'm sure all all the guys are in great hands now so these are playlists made especially for you we've tailor made learning experiences for you the rs clips